Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how any business can multiply their revenue two times, four times, eight times, maybe even more. So if you're a business owner or you think that you might like to be a business owner sometime in the future, you'll want to take a few minutes and pay attention because this is going to be huge for your business and I'm going to prove mathematically why it works. Okay, now there are four factors that affect how much money your business makes and there's only four factors. Every, every marketing strategy in the history of the world has fallen into one or more of these four factors. I got this from my business coach, Myron Golden, but every other marketer on the planet is teaching some part of this strategy, whatever name they might give it. So let's cut straight to the chase and I'll tell you what those four factors are that determine how much money your business makes. Now, the first one is the number of leads that you get. That is the number of people that you get to show some interest in your business. So if you have an online business, that might be the number of people that visit your website, might be the people that opt into your list. If you have a brick and mortar business, that would be the number of people that walk through the door. How many opportunities do you get to acquire a new customer? So number one is leads. Now number two is called conversion. What conversion means is of the, the leads, of the people that are coming into your business or showing interest in your business, of the people whom you get an opportunity to pitch to, what percentage of those people are actually buying your product? That's called your conversion rate. Okay, now the third factor is order value. That is, when you get a new customer, how much money does that person spend on your business? And then the last factor is called customer retention. Retention. What customer retention means is of the people who come into your business and buy your product, how many of those people come back to do business with you a second time or a third time or a fourth time? If you can increase any of these four variables, you will increase the amount of money that's coming into your business. Now the cool thing about this framework is that if you address any of these four factors and you can improve your numbers in any of these, then they will compound on each other. They will multiply by each other to get a compound effect. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So let's, uh, let's take some hypothetical numbers here. Let's say that right now your business is getting uh, $10,000 a month revenue. $10,000 a month. And then let's say that you have a product that's worth $500. And then let's say that your conversion rate is 10%. So 10% of the leads that you're getting, you are getting to buy your product. And then with those numbers, we can calculate how many leads we're getting. So uh, $500 product, 10% conversion, you're getting 10,000 a month. So 10,000 divided by 500 is 20. So you're getting 20 sales. If you're getting 10% conversion rate, that means you're getting 200 leads. Don't, don't worry if you didn't follow that, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you in a hypothetical situation what a huge impact this can make on your business. Okay, so now let's take a look at what happens if we can improve each of these four variables. So let's say you can double the number of leads that are coming into your business. So instead of 200, you now get 400. Okay, what happens? You get 400 leads times 10% conversions, right? That means that you're getting 40 sales times $500 product. Now, your uh, monthly revenue has gone from 10,000 to 20,000, right? If you double your leads, you double your revenue. Okay, now let's go to the conversion rate. Let's say we can double our conversion rate. We're getting 10%. We learn some better sales strategies. We teach our sales team to use those better sales strategies and we can convert that 10% to 20%. Okay, well now what happens? Well, we go to our 400 leads times 20%. Now we're getting 80 customers at 500 bucks a pop. Now our monthly revenue has just gone up to $40,000. So from $10,000 to 
to $40,000, and we've only changed two of the factors, right? We haven't even looked at the other two yet, but let's keep going. Let's say uh, we, can, we can mess with the order value here. So let's say we only have this one $500 product, but we can look into what the customer wants and let's say that we figure out that some of the customers want something else in addition to the $500 product we have, and we can put a much higher price point on it. So let's say in addition to our $500 product, uh, we also add a $5,000 upsell. So, so some of the, product, the people who buy this $500 product, well, everybody who buys the $500 product, we are going to offer the $5,000 product as well. Now, let's say that the, the conversion rate uh, for those people are 20%. So of the people who buy the first product, 20% of them also buy the second product. So now what we're getting is 400 leads times 20% is 80 sales of the first product, right? And then we get 20% of that to buy the second product. So 80 sales times 20% is, uh, is what? 16 sales, right? So 16 times 5,000 is an extra $40,000. And that's in addition to the 40,000 we already had. So add that up. Now we're up to $80,000. Okay, now let's go to the last one, the customer retention. Now the best way that you can do customer retention is to have a monthly recurring revenue program or some sort of periodic recurring revenue, which means that the customer pays every month is automatically debited uh, for a program that maybe gets some discount. Maybe they get to get to come into the office every month and get a massage or get a Botox or whatever it is that your business provides and they get a discount on it if they sign up for the monthly program. So let's say that your monthly program costs $100 a month. So we add that uh, is another upsell We'll add this as an alternative to that $5,000 a month upsell. And let's say that we get a 20% conversion rate on that one as well. So let's take a look at what those numbers look like. So we have our 400 leads times 20% conversion. That's 80 sales of the $500 product. And then of those 80, we get, uh, we get 20% that sign up for the $100 a month uh, recurring revenue program. So that's 16 people sign up for this. So the first month, we get, uh, we get $1,600, right? And then remember that these multiply on each other because the first month you got $1,600 from the people that paid this. And then the next month you get people who signed up for the program again, you get $1,600 again, plus $1,600 for all the people that signed up last month. So second month you get $3,200. And then the month after that, now you have three months worth of people that are paying $1,600 a month. Now you're up to $4,800. And if you keep going this, uh, I went and did the calculations here. If you keep going for a year, then after one year, you are at $19,200. That's added revenue, added from all the stuff that you had before. So if you take that 80 grand you had before, now after a year you're getting uh, 19,200 extra. Now you're down to $99,200. So look at the change, right? You were making $10,000 a month before. Now you're at $99,200. That's almost a 10X return. You have multiplied your revenue by a factor of 10 just by addressing these four variables. Now, if you have a business and you want to get crazy huge business growth like this, I recommend that you check out my training all about the prospect pyramid, which is all about how to do number one, how to get more leads. So I will put the link below. You can click on that. You can get that free training. Or if you want to work with me directly, uh, I'm currently accepting clients. So you can click the link below and that will also give you information about how you can work with me. You know, I don't work with everybody. I have certain requirements that I need in order to be able to take on a client because I want to ensure that I can get dramatic results like you saw here because anything less than that is just not satisfactory to me. So I'll just ask you a few questions, figure out if it's a good fit. 